Today, the Church gives thanks for Bishop Richard of Chichester, who died in 1253. You may not have heard his name, but you will know his prayer. Thanks be to thee, my Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits thou hast given me, for all the pains and insults that was born for me. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know thee more clearly, follow thee more nearly, and love thee more dearly, day by day. Richard was a farmer's son who studied law and became Chancellor of Oxford University and then of Canterbury. He became priest and, and was made Bishop of Chichester in 1244. He was a reforming bishop, raising standards in the church with high expectations of his priests. He's said to have been a bishop which is a good model for a diocesan bishop, accessible, generous and fair. He was a man of conviction and principle and stood up for what he believed in despite opposition. He thanked Jesus in his prayer for all the pains and insults and as he did so he perhaps reflected on the way he was treated for standing up for what is right. Taking up his cross meant identifying with Jesus in that way. In the aftermath of the horrific death of George Floyd and the wave of reactions across the world, the renewed awareness of racial hatred, we've been brutally reminded of how some human beings inflict pain and insult on others, of the cruelty and callousness with which we can treat each other. And Jesus was a victim of that human cruelty. He identifies indeed today with those who even now suffer such treatment at the hands of fellow human beings. The prayer of Richard of Chichester has been loved through the centuries, perhaps because it beautifully encapsulates so much about the Christian walk in a world of suffering. We could make it a daily prayer and a pattern for our own living. It's such a good model of prayer. It puts Jesus at the centre. It reminds us of all we've gained through him, of all that he did for us, of the huge sacrifices he made for us. It calls Jesus our friend and brother, bringing him close, as well as Lord and Christ, the transcendent God whom we worship. Implicitly, it offers up our own struggles and it asks for a closer daily walk with our Lord, to know him, to follow and love him more each day. Thanks be to thee, my Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits thou hast given me, for all the pains and insults thou hast borne for me. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know thee more clearly, fodder thee more nearly, and love thee more dearly, day by day. Amen. <laughs>